In this video, I'm going to create a Pareto chart by using pivot table. I have a set of data that has already been entered into an Excel worksheet with a column heading of days. I'm going to highlight my values, including the heading, go to my Insert tab, and click on Pivot Table. A Pivot Table creation box opens with my values already posted, and then I'm going to tell Excel to create the Pivot Table on the existing worksheet by clicking on Existing Worksheet and then giving it a location to place the pivot table. I'm just going to click on any cell that I choose and click OK. A pivot table designer opens with my field of days listed. I'm going to grab my days and drag the field under the heading of rows. I'm going to go back up and grab the field of days again and drag it under the heading of values. Now I have my raw data listed as a sum of days. However, I want a count of the days. So going back to the pivot table designer, under values we have sum of days and there is a drop down arrow. I'm going to click on the arrow, go to Value Field Settings, click on Count and OK. This gives me a count of my days. Now I want to group those values together. I'm going to go and click on any cell under Rows and then right click and go to Group. This opens up a box showing me the smallest value in my, in my uh, set of data and the largest value. I want to change those values to just slightly smaller than the lowest value and slightly larger than the largest value. So my smallest value here is 1. I'm going to change it to 0. My largest value is 175. I'm going to change it to 170. And I'm going to change the 10 to 20 and click OK. Now I have a summary of my, of my data. And in the Pareto chart, it displays our values with vertical bars of descending order. So what we want to do is we want to change our values here so that they appear from the largest value to the smallest. So we're going to click on any cell, right click and sort, sort largest to smallest, and we have our values arranged from largest to smallest. Next, we want to create a column for a cumulative percent. That's very easy to do with the pivot table. We'll go back to days and drag days under values again. This gives us a new column that's labeled count of days two. I'm going to change that label to cumulative percent. And then just widen my cell so the heading appears. I'm going to change these values to a cumulative percent. Just click on any cell under the cumulative percent heading. And then right click and show values as. And then scroll down to percent running total in, click on that, and then click OK, and that gives us a cumulative percent of our count of days, ranging, ranging from 44 percent, 
and ending at 100%, which is exactly where we want to be. I'm going to change the number of decimal places from 2 to 0 by highlighting the column and format cells. Change the decimal places from 2 to 0. Click OK. Now I highlight the three columns and go to my Insert tab. And using Excel 2013, go to Recommended Charts. And scroll down to Combo. And then choose the second icon on the left, which is Clustered Column Line and Secondary Axis. And click OK. My Pareto chart is now created. However, I have a legend here, which I don't need. I'm going to click on the legend and delete it. And my secondary axis, I only need it to go to 100% instead of 120%. So click on the secondary axis and then double click and then change the maximum value from 1.2 to 1.0 and close the boxes and we have our Pareto chart created. We can move the Pareto chart to any location that we desire on the worksheet or if you wanted to move the Pareto chart to another worksheet or another workbook click into the chart, right click and copy and then you could paste it onto another worksheet or another workbook. That concludes this video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.